As we are all well aware, Geometry Dash has sneak peeks, and sometimes the final level doesn't look the exact same as the sneak peek. So today we're going to be taking a look at some sneak peeks and how the final level changed between the sneak peek and the update's release. Hello everyone, welcome. So, like I said, uh, we are going to start looking at some sneak peeks. Now, I'm just going to mention this and get this out of the way really quick, that apparently 90% of you guys aren't subscribed. I know you've probably heard this a lot, but 90% is like a scarily big number. So, like, subscribe if you like like the video or like, like any of my other videos, because that's... Mm, that's one, that means 1 in 10 of you people watching this right now are subscribed, and that means that 9 of 10 of you aren't, so like, do that. But anyways, what I've got set up for us... <clears throat> is I've recorded a version of each Rob Top sneak peek and I've downloaded the original Rob Top sneak peek and we're going to take a look at them in chronological order starting from 1.6 and going all the way up through 2.1 and we are going to be trying to spot the differences. I know 2.2 is coming out soon and if I take long enough to edit this it might already be out by the time I upload this video. I doubt it though. Um, <clears throat> So we are going to get started with 1.6, and I will play the video for you guys now. All right, so right off the bat, we can see uh, that the breakable blocks that are in the final level are nowhere to be seen. And all of these things on the ground have different colors. Now you might think, oh, it's player colors. <coughs> well, I think that it was player colors because his cube is, is, is uh, blue in the middle and the ground is blue, but my icon is also blue and this isn't blue. Uh, is it the secondary? Well. I mean, these are the secondary, because I have a secondary white and primary blue, but these uh, I'm a little bit confused on. It looks like they were turned into light background objects. And uh, along with the non-breakable blocks, we can see that the section that houses the first coin uh, is no longer there. It used to be three going up, now it's one. It's up, up, down. So that's uh, pretty wacky, bro. Anyways, uh, on to 1.7. Right here, we can see that in the final version, it gets really, really dark and black. Uh, in the original, it kind of just instantly faded into the colors and then did the big flash. Uh, and if I play it, you'll probably be able to see it more prominently side by side. Notice how it, how this one changed to black and then instantly pulsed back open. Um, but this one sort of faded straight from like the green to the purple or whatever. We can move on to 1.8. All right, well, there were actually a couple of gameplay differences that I did notice uh, scrubbing along here. I don't think any of them were in the first cube, but I, I right here, this ramp on the roof uh, doesn't have any spikes on it anymore. Then, once we get to the dual part, we actually see something pretty interesting. Uh, it all looks normal at this point. Uh, right near the end, we could actually see that uh, this part keeps sloping up, and this part slopes down. And what I can do, you can see that it goes back down at the very, very end. And I honestly have no idea what uh, would have been passed there. But I can give you 
I, I can rebuild this in GD and give you a more clear image of what Hexagon Force up to this point had looked like, which I will put on screen now. Yeah, with that out of the way, I guess we can get right on to, uh, to 1.9. Alright, so really all the major differences with this one is just the level was a lot more bland. You can see near the end there really aren't that many... There's nothing that, that looks strange about the gameplay. There is nothing on the sides here. That's the same thing. There's no blast processing monster anywhere throughout. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, there aren't too many changes between 1.9 sneak peek and the final release other than it just being way more bland. Anyways, we can go on to the second 1.9 sneak peek. So, really, I didn't notice too many changes other than, apparently, this section uh, would have actually been built out of the hexagon force blocks initially. Uh, <clears throat> and it would have had uh, a blue color, or it might have actually been player color too, because he uses a, a blue player color. But anyways, now we can actually move on to the first 2.0 sneak peek. All right, so we're looking for, so this hill in the background looks different. I don't really know how to describe it, but it looks a lot more blocky, I guess. Um, so there were clearly some decorations added or retextured or changed in some way. Uh, these hills just aren't here anymore, which kind of sucks because I kind of think they'd fit in well. This looks like Rob Top got better at polishing his levels before he recorded the sneak peeks. Uh, anyways, uh, we can move on to the second 2.0 sneak peek now. Um, okay. Not, not a lot to, to go off of, honestly. I'm gonna be very, very honest with you. Um, uh, something that was pointed out to me was that these portals right here are actually offset slightly. These ones are much more aligned and it may not seem very prevalent to you right now, but I can actually add in a little line and then we can look more at this and we can see this is pretty much a perfectly straight line. Um, between the two portals and then we move it over here. It's not a, a straight line trickery or anything like that. So who knows, could have just been a visual bug. But anyways, not too many differences there either. Let's move on to 2.1, the most recent sneak peek at the point, at the point of recording this. Um, and I know for a fact that this has a good few differences in it. So let's, uh, let's do that. Okay, so we're going to start where we always like to start when he fades out. The end, which I was even able to see some pretty big changes. Uh, as it fades out, there actually was another yellow 
pad here, and there is no extension of the platform anywhere further along. Um, and, you know, by default means we could see more of the lava and the spike designs that he was putting in the lava. Um, kind of makes you wonder, I because you cannot see any inch, any inch or even any hint of another platform near the end. So I, I have no idea what kind of gameplay he was going to do for that. Really what I notice and what everybody notices, the dash orbs obviously look extremely different in the original version. They're much more triangular shaped. In the end, they're more like the greater than less than brackets. There was also no portal here. And you can actually see this in the beta finger dash that got leaked in GD World that there are no, there are no portals or S blocks even there. So we know for a fact that there were no S blocks at the time. Uh, the finger dash, dash orbs, fire is also different. So yeah, that's about it. Um, in conclusion, uh, Rob Top is pretty good with keeping his levels consistent. Uh, especially in more recent times, he does not change the levels too much after the sneak peek is out. Um, whether he just doesn't want to or whether he doesn't change them because he's recorded the sneak peek already, I have no idea. But, regardless, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys very much for 50,000 subscribers. That number is crazy. I don't even understand. Uh, I am working on my 50k special. I'm getting over a cold right now. And my 50k special is, is a song parody. Uh, so I kind of need my voice for that. Um, am hopefully... I'm, I'm going to try my hardest to get it out before Christmas. Um... Hopefully I can get it out this weekend. But anyways, uh, I'll keep you guys posted. You can follow my Twitter. I, I'll probably be tweeting about it there. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. I beat that fast. A demon count a hundred more. They wonder how, how do I do that? I beat them faster than ever before. They wonder how I beat them that now.